that stock in aquarium. Today we're going to stock a 20 gallon hexagon tank, which equates to a 37 meter aquarium. All of these species stay below 1 inch in length as adults, making them very, very small. For the stocking plan, I'm going to utilize three different species. The first species is marble hatchetfish, 10 of them. They are a top running species from South America. Second species is the blue Axorodi rasbora, 12 of them to be specific because they like large groups due to their shy and skittish nature. And the third species is the pygmy cory catfish, 8 of them, enough that they can free swim a little bit as well. All three of these species are schooling fish, which requires groups of 6 to 12 to thrive in their care. More is preferably better because they're shy and skittish nature. Now let's talk about them a little bit. The marble hatchet fish are exclusively surface dwellers and an air breathing fish. As a result, you need a tight fitting lid and you need to approach your tank carefully at first. If you scare them, they will jump as a result of their startle response, similar to African butterfly fish. Second, let's talk about the blue axorodi rasbora, specifically that they are a very sensitive species, so they need good water quality and live plants. They also do better in softer water. And finally, the Corridora. You'll be able to see them swim in both the midwater of the aquarium with this school size and the bottom of the aquarium. Now to set up an aquarium ideal for these species. The substrate I'd recommend is sand. This is because it will make it easier for the Corridora to find food. Due to their small size, that can be a challenge sometimes. With gravel, it can work, but you need to make sure you have large enough food that it will settle on top of the gravel. As for decorating the aquarium and the layout of the aquarium, driftwood and tan and staining would be beneficial for all three of these species. So if you want your tank to be tan and stained, this is a good option. I would also recommend an open scape plan with an open center portion and front portion and a densely planted background for them to hide in. That way, if there is any interspecies aggression with rasboras, they can easily hide. And finally, you do need floating plants and a sponge filter for the marble hatchet fish. They don't like much surface movement and they don't like a lot of flow, so this is essential. Follow for another stocking plan made by me.